Well, hello to everyone. This is Joanna, and this is Wednesday. And I had an order coming in from Bath & Body Works, but I forgot what it was that I ordered, guys. And I'm not sure if I had the butterfly um, on my order or not that I said that I wanted yesterday, and I went ahead and just purchased it um, in store. So we're going to see what I got here. I can see right now this is loose, and I hope I remember what this looks like to be able to see what I got. Now, all that I paid for in this order, I believe, were the soaps. Um, everything else would have been free. I might have paid for the wallflowers if I end up having five of them and the soaps and again everything else was free so let's just see what i got it looks like i do have five of the wallflowers and i may or may not have repeated some but some of them i do want more than one so we will see because it looks like this one looks like the one that is missing but it looks like i may have repeated a few things so we will see um because i apparently forgot what i ordered um, versus what I went in the store for and I hate when I do that um, but we're gonna share really quickly with you what I got this box is cold I wanted to come home and stay home now I did get some cookies um, I got the raspberry lemonade and two of the cinnamon one and a regular sugar one I had went out this morning, so I've already been into these, and I used my little handy-dandy cookie cutter. This one was delicious. This one is my second go at their regular sugar because it was on the menu. I didn't want the Rolo oatmeal one, and I didn't want the chocolate cake one. This one is that cinnamon one. I forget what it was called, but it's not sweet at all, so that's good. Like I said, I'm finding that I like the ones with no icing a little bit better. I got two of those one sugar and one raspberry lemonade if you have young ones that like a sweet cookie or you have a super taste for sweet cookies it's really good so let's get into what i got now i don't remember if i used the first coconut cream pie up like i got the mini miss right and i loved it and so i bought the bigger one and then i wasn't that crazy about it now don't get me wrong i don't hate it but this does smell good. It smells like a cream pie and it is cold. So I don't remember, like I said, if I use mine up, but you know, I love the packaging on these. This looks like my, um, is it called Baroque wallpaper? B-A-R-O-Q-U-E, if y'all know what I mean. It looks like that kind of design and I have plates with that kind of design. But this right here, just in case, because I couldn't remember. Now, I do still have a lotion, but I also like the looks of this lotion. So I wanted to go ahead and get another one because I have a mini mist and a full mist. And I have a shower gel. And I might break down and get that new shower gel just because I love the way that it looks. I'll probably get on the 315 bus to go and do laundry. So I've been meaning all day to look and see what I ordered. Um, but I was sure that I had that butterfly in there because online... It looks like the two lower butterflies are orange, but then when you get them in person, one is pink and one is orange. So I'm going to have to look and see if they took that off my order. And Miss Cynthia showed a gorgeous wallflower that she gave me some information on and a candle holder that I don't need, but I definitely want. Um, if I can get my hands on two of those flowers, I will. It looks like her area has them early and my area doesn't have them yet because I know a lot of you have the white t-shirt and the fresh cotton and the pastel skies as far as the mists my area doesn't have them at all we don't even have the mini of the fresh getaway which is what i wanted to get and um i know last night the video that i did i misspoke a little bit because i had said that the whipberry meringue that i wanted i did want the small mist in that and i wanted the hand cream and then i wanted the fresh getaway like i said but I also was planning on exchanging the mini um, gingham love that I had. But I ended up just taking it back to the store once I decided to get the big one since it was $8.50 and had that as a credit off my bill. So I did get this turtle. These are really, really cute. And let's see, what does this do? Okay, it's scent control and a night light. So we get a double effect there. So... We'll go ahead and delve into these little wallflowers that I got. Um, I did go ahead and get a white t-shirt 
because I thought that I got one in store, but I didn't. And I don't know if I can open this up for you all. I know that y'all know the notes on all of this already anyway. But just in case. See if that focuses in for us there. So I'm really excited about the body care. Like I said, it already has a cult classic following um, based on how it was released. Now if they would give us some of those color run products like the Touch of Magic and the Whipped Vanilla Bean because I'm anxious to see if it smells like the original. So that was one wallflower, and these are like ice cold, guys. <laughs> we have Springtime in Paris. They have released this scent before, but I'm not sure if it has always been the same scent or ever changing um, because there was no social media then. Now this says Soft Peach, Lotus Blossom, and Fresh Bergamot. So... I know that I like the way the candle smells in this, so we'll see about the wallflower. I did not have a chance to smell it in store. They didn't have a little candle there. Now, we have a lot of linen this go-round. We've got fresh cotton, um, fresh coconut and cotton. We have white t-shirt. We have fresh linen, linen sheets, um, wash and fold. So I want to try to get as many of these as I can, be it a small candle, a room spray, or a wallflower plug. And this is Lily of the Valley petals um sweet orange and cotton musk and i'm gonna have to sit these somewhere because these are like cold so here is the dark amber oud if i have two of these i do not mind because i have the candle and i really do like it And I will say that soap that I got, when they had the soap sale, the one that I got by itself that I went back in the store and paid eight something for, nine something with tax, I didn't exchange it. I, I could have returned it and then got more soaps, you know, with that same price. I didn't do that. I just didn't feel like it. So that's my loss. But at the same time, they've been so kind to me in there on most things, you know, that I don't even care. So here we have hibiscus waterfalls, and this is tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist. And then I'm going to move these out of the way, and we're going to see what else is here. Now, I could really smell that um, cozy linen one through all that packaging. I think that's going to be one that I really like. That smells like a really, really nice laundry room. I mean, like when you go somewhere to wash, and they've cleaned in there, and it's a nice, clean laundry or your own home laundry room where you've used your linen scents. It smells really, really nice, just like um, fresh laundry. So I think I might get another one of those. Now, I got this Terracotta Canyon, and I won't be able to smell these right now. These are cold. But if there's anyone you have a question about, just ask me. By the time that I come home, these will have been warmed up. Here are the notes on that. This one I'm most, most curious about. And these were the soaps that I got that I did not get in the store. One of them was a repeat, and then another one was one that I did not get and missed out on. Um, I could have taken that soap that I paid for by itself and gotten like, I think, three or four more, but I didn't do that. But here we have Blueberry Bellini. I'm not sure that I like the blueberry soaps because I tend to get a scent off from the blueberry than what I'm used to. However, they were pleasant at first and then I grew tired of them. But since this says blueberry Bellini, I figured I'd give it a chance. And if it goes like the other ones, this will be the last blueberry hand soap that I purchased for a while because I do still have enough of the other ones, the blueberry lemonade, um, the other blueberry pancake one, um, the one that smells like blueberry pie. Um, so here are the notes on this. Wild blueberry, bright citrus, and sparkling Prosecco. So I'm hoping this will have a little bit of a different take on it. And then, of course, I wanted to try this smoked bourbon. I'm sorry, smoked caramel and bourbon. Because I posted this one when I seen it online. And there's some notes for that. And then this was the one... I'm going in and out about whether or not that I want the mist. I sprayed the mist again in store yesterday, and I swear it has a scent like my fresh coconut snowball. And like I said, I'm going to have to take my spray into the store. And also, I noticed that on my two fresh coconut snowball mists that I do have, the notes differ on them. I'll have to look into that. But I'm going to take the first one, the one where they were putting that 1990 label on them in the blue bottle with the gold. 
but if it does smell like that i still will get a lotion or a cream in that scent and i'll just leave the mist alone because i think i want three or four sets of the white t-shirt just because of course i will probably use two not all up but i'll have one for extra and one in case somebody that i know wanted it and couldn't get it so here are the notes for fresh coconut and cotton another one that i really really like though that i wanted more of was frozen lake and what was our one blue lavender whatever that blue lavender scent is and we have our lavender marshmallow back which i have a lavender marshmallow soap but some of those soaps have changed color so glacier lagoon is another one that i'm curious about we'll see how i like it this one has frosted orange watery freesia and lavender and then of course the last one which gives me two is white t-shirt these things feel freezing it's almost like they've been in a refrigerated truck because it is cold outside but not as cold these feel guys like ice cubes like i have plucked ice cubes out of this box so here are the candles i did go ahead and get a white t-shirt i was contemplating getting another one yesterday we will see but our store seems to have less and less of those from when i go in this fresh cotton soap the white t-shirt soap the um, candle that i have seen they seem to have less and less of course like i said and then this one of course was the hair cream brulee which i did order one I think I'll take this one and exchange it for something. Look at this. They done sent me another candle. Only these shavings ain't as bad, but see that? They're moving around in there, but yeah, I think I'm going to exchange this one. Because there was another one that I wanted to get, and I might just get another white t-shirt. Because the one that I have, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So... I might exchange this we'll see but that is it that is all that i got i just wanted to share that really quickly before i took out took off out the door so until the next time everyone have a great day